Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to uh, Buying and Selling Tips here with Brad Tragic. And uh, I think you should be able to hear me. Something just came on air, I think, came on. Um, you should be able to hear me, though. Um, so what I want to talk about today was Listia, and I'll think about other topics that I can bring up possibly while I'm talking about this, and maybe I can add something else to it. Uh, Listia is a great website. If you haven't been to it yet, you should definitely get an account, especially if you're a buyer or seller on Amazon and eBay because it kind of acts um, like a website to get rid of things you don't necessarily want anymore. So it's, it's a good site and what it's supposed to be for, you know, is stuff laying around the house that you can't get rid of that, you know, you just want to get rid of it basically. Does that make any sense whatsoever? Anyway, moving on. I hope it did. If not, go to listia, listia.com. And check it out. Um, if you've never heard of it, you know, um, you know, go there. Look, look around. It should make sense once you sign up for it. Um, it basically works on credits. And yes, I know there's a lot of places out there like that that works on credits and things like that. But this is probably one of the best ones out there. And you can sell anything on there from, I mean, clothes, video games, CDs, movies. Um, even your ultraviolet codes that you count, you get with your DVDs and things like that, um, if they're still valid, if you have never used them, um, it's something you could put on there and make, you know, a little bit of extra credits on. Um, it's a newer movie, you know, and you're not going to use the ultraviolet codes, you know, definitely you can put them on there and get credits for it. Um, so let me, let me talk about how Listia can benefit the buyer and seller, eBay, Amazon, you know, wherever you're buying for. So let's say you have... Oh, I don't know. Let, let's say you have a bunch of eBay items, and you've listed them, you know, about three times, and you're not three, three to five times, and you're just fed up with listing it. You're, you just want to get rid of it because evidently you're not going to sell it on eBay. Um, you can't list on Amazon just for any given reason. I'm just trying to give you an example here. Um, so you're kind of stuck with this item. You want to get rid of it. Let's say it's a CD of like Garth Brooks, and for some reason you just can't get rid of it. Um, put it on the list to you, you get rid of it, you get credits. Now with these credits, um, you can use those credits to get other things that, you know, maybe you sold in the past or things you're interested in personally. Um, but really, I would really focus on getting things that, you know, you want to get for yourself. Wait, hold on. No, for your business, that's what I mean. <laughs> Whoops. I, you can get stuff for yourself on there too, but you know, for the most part, you know, I think it's good to focus in, like, try and find something that, you know, you really can make money on and then, you know, you know either save up credits for it or, you know, find some lots of different items on there. Um, there are some people that rather get on Listia than on eBay.com. Um, so it's kind of a good way to get rid of stuff and, you know, kind of sell items on there in a way because you get credits and you can, you know, take that stuff and get rid of it. Um, so sometimes you'll be able to get things on Listia for a good price, um, and so forth. Now, if you also deal with Listia, you can also get, I, I don't remember how it works, I have never done it, but after you get so many credits in the store, they have Amazon.com gift cards available at, at certain points. Um, you have to get so many credits, I think it's about, I think it's, I think you have to get like 20,000 credits or a little bit more than that, I can't remember exactly what it is. Um, I can't remember the ratio of how much dollars uh, is what, but I know if you fill out offers, if you pay for offers on there, and which, like I said, a lot of it will make more sense. If you're eBay savvy, more likely you're going to be, you're going to understand things going on with this. Um, but you can get bonus credits for, um, you're, you're going to get bonus credits for, you know, filling out certain offers and things like that. Um, so, I mean, if you if you go to buy things online and you do it with listing, you can do that and get credits for it as well. And I know a lot of people are still confused, like, well, how, how can I make money off of this? Well, if you think about it, you know, all those items that you're languishing in and it's just taking up space in your place, you know, you can, you can get rid of that on list you. You can get rid of it, you know, get a, even if you get like a couple hundred credits, all right, save up those credits and try and bid on something uh, on list you. And, and I will give you like some info and it is hard to win stuff on listia sometimes but when you do and you get rid of stuff and you're getting other stuff to sell on amazon and ebay uh, it's, it's a really good thing I, I think it's a really good kind of 
kind of side thing to have just in case you can't sell something. So I definitely think it's a great tool. And I've used it for, you know, when I try to list things on Amazon lately. And I bought it. And I know I haven't really bought and sold too much lately. Um, but uh, when I buy something, you know, uh, when I went and bought some stuff recently, I went and did that. And I'm like, oh, crap, I can't sell this. Or it's something I've had for a while and been trying to turn a profit on it. And I'm like, well, I'm done with this. I'm, I'm, you know, I, you know, I don't need this anymore. Let me just need to just get rid of this stupid thing, um, you know. And I can get rid of it. Uh, there's some other things, you know, where you know you got some magazines. Um, you know, surprisingly, Amazon does have a market for magazines. I wouldn't say they're going to sell automatically, but they do have a market for magazines. Uh, Listia also sells magazines. It's been kind of hard. I've listed some certain magazines they go, and some magazines I had a, like a lot of four. Um, the, uh, you know, small business, you know, great opportunities, magazines, whatever you find in stores. I had a lot of four of those. They would not sell at all on Listia. Um, but if you want to get rid of like a bunch of things, you know, Listia is a good thing. And then sometimes you might get rid of them on Listia. So you never know. Maybe you just got something that you just got to, you know, bite the dust and get rid of it. And, you know, eh, you know. Uh, the only downside of that is I hate giving stuff to Goodwill because I do know they throw away things. Yes, and that's not what well, was that me tapping me on the desk, if you heard that. <laughs> um, I, I did hear from, I think, Trinket, Trinket Goblin uh, does a lot of videos, and he always is digging through the Goodwill trash. Um, so I don't know where your area is at, but you know, that's an option as well. Just watch out. I don't, I'm not a good dumpster diver. I've never done it, and I probably will never do it, because I just hate getting caught. And like, oh, what do you say, you know? Um, but, you know, Goodwill does throw away things. So that's why I kind of hate to get things to them now that I know that. And it's like, eh, I'll try and sell it online as far as I can, and then I'll get rid of it, you know. And then let them do whatever. Because, I mean, it kind of sucks that they throw away things. I mean, they were throwing away, like, plates and things like that. And he had videos of, like, the plates were broken when they got thrown in there. And I'm like, that's ridiculous. Like, why would you do that? Why wouldn't you actually donate to someone who's actually going to do something with them? Like, maybe a soup kitchen or something like that, you know. Don't throw them away. That's just ridiculous. That's just, you know, products that we made in the United States or in China or whatever. And, you know, we're just trashing a product that was worth, you know, a dollar a piece, you know, or something. They just don't want to sell it. Like, if anything, you know, put it on clearance or something and put it up there and makes a little bit of money on it, you know. I mean, they gave the shit to you. So, <laughs> that's what gets me. It's like, they gave you this crap. It's like, why are you throwing it away? Why wouldn't you just put it like on clearance and sell it for like a dollar or something if you don't want it in the store or you don't have room for it? So that's my little thing with that. So like I said, list you a great little side project. I don't have anything else to talk about. The next video I'm going to do is a little bit longer. So I hope you enjoyed those little tidbits on list you. Any questions on list you, definitely let me know. And I will give you the last tip on doing things on list you is do not charge for shipping if you charge for shipping your stuff most likely is not going to get bid on um because i know one of the first things i do when i go i search and then i go to the side i say free shipping check mark i'm done i don't look at things for shipping you know if you know if there was something i really really liked i probably would pay for shipping on there but for the most part you know i'm not going to pay for shipping um because really all people only people deal with paypal and i don't deal with paypal so if you deal with paypal hey you know maybe go for it um, and you'll get your shipping costs for it um, sent to you. But, yeah, I don't want to deal with that. And plus, I don't know how listy it is. I don't like, you know, people ripping you off and saying, you know, oh, I didn't get that, blah, blah, blah. But that's more a PayPal thing, um, having to deal with that. So, there you go, a little, little, little side tip. But, I mean, if you don't want to deal with any of that crap, I would just offer free shipping. Just send it. Uh, put it with the credits. You know, if you know it's going to cost quite a bit, jack your credits up higher. Um... And that's the only bad thing about it is you lose money because you're not getting actual money for it, but you're getting credits so you can get other items that you can sell on eBay. There you go. That making sense? Anyway. <laughs> um, there you go. Or you can see it another way is you get money for shipping if you do that way, and you get credits for your shipping. That making sense? Money for the item and credit. I think I said the other way around. Yeah, anyway. Hope this wasn't confusing. I hope this is an educational thing. Uh, Listia, like I said, if you get anything out of it, Listia is a good little website. Use it to your advantage uh, with things you can't get rid of on eBay and Amazon. That's basically my the moral of the story. Hope you had fun watching the video, and keep rocking.